Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. As usual, I'm working on some Willys engines. And what you're looking at here is the oil pump pickup screen. And now I've got the plate off it. This plate, this plate covers that and that will pick up oil and it will get screened. Now this this is out of Hal's engine and I knew that one was going to be a mess. It's just full of sludge. Let's see if you can see that. I mean look how thick that stuff is. And the screen is almost completely blocked up. So that's why I always take these apart. I recommend uh, if you're doing a rebuild you take the cover off the screen and really soak that and clean it. This one also is smashed in on this side. I don't know what happened there. Those are not supposed to be smashed in. Um, so something happened there. Uh, now that's about what 99% of them look like. And they absolutely need to be cleaned. You don't want this flowing around a fresh engine. Now let's move over here. This is uh, out of Gary's engine and uh, I've done some videos on this and uh, like I say I, I don't want to get in the middle of anything but he bought that rebuilt engine and um, you know from a company that says they're leading edge technology with rebuilding engines and this and that and the other thing um, <clears throat> now I have Gary's apart and I expected this to be squeaky clean when I opened it up Let's take a peek in there. I think you can see all the crumbles that were left in there. This is exactly how I took this apart. There's orange silicone in there. The screen is plugged up. And look at all the crunchies down there. This is not what you want when you're starting a new engine. Like I say, you've got to take these apart um, all the time because they're always messed up. Okay, there's a pile of junk from what was the brand new engine, or, or so we thought. And there is the 70-year-old engine that um, we expected to be messed up so that one will get soaked and cleaned and put back together and same thing with this one but you expect that in an engine you're rebuilding you don't expect that in an engine that was sold as rebuilt so uh, I've said it up a lot of times. Be very careful where you select your engine from if you're buying an engine from a company. Um, obviously, that engine wasn't didn't last, couldn't run with an F head cam in it and all the stuff that was wrong with it. But um, this would have eventually plugged up the pickup screen, and it just would have been a disaster. So, always clean your oil pump pickup screen and. Make sure if you're having your engine rebuilt somewhere that they're going to take that apart for you. You can't just soak it in a parts washer and expect all that junk to come out. You have to take it apart. Okay guys, while those oil pumps pickup screens are soaking, we're going to talk a little bit about Gary's valves here. Um, now he's got new valves installed in here. Um, this is not from the original machine shop. This is from his second machine shop. A uh, um, friend of his, I guess, out where he lives. Okay, now. Um, let me take one out of here. This is what I tell you guys to watch out for when you go to a machine shop. Um, okay. This has just got just a very small wipe with a cutter. It's just a 45 degree um, cut right there 
and it's like that on all the valves. There's your intake. Uh, there's no um, 60 on the bottom and there's no cut on the top. It's not a three angle valve job, it's just a quick wipe with a 45 degree cutter. Um, and that's the worst kind that you can do. So I'm going to uh, put a vacuum on these and see if they're sealing at all. Uh, and we're going to have to recut them. We're going to have to do a three angle valve job here. But let's, let's run the vacuum over those and see what, what we get. Okay guys, we're going to give these guys a vacuum test here and see how it goes. Can you see that? Yep. Not much there. Mm, the first one was exhaust one. This is uh, intake one and two. Uh, we're pulling two inches. Oh, we got a little something on the exhaust two. That's good. Exhaust three, we got nothing. Intake three and four. Uh, pulling a couple. There goes exhaust four. Nothing. Two is the only one that's sealed. So you can imagine what this engine was going to run like. So we're going to pull all these valves again. And I'm going to do a three angle valve job on this. And I've done that a bunch of times. You've, you've seen me do that. Um, maybe we'll do one or something so I can show you again. But uh, this is this, no, nothing here is any good. So we're going to start from scratch again and, uh, and put the proper seat angles in here. Okay, guys, we're just going to quick. Lay some dicum in here. Hopefully, you'll be able to see what I'm doing better. We're just going to do one of these. Like I say, you could. You, I got a lot of valve cutting videos if you want to see them. Um, but we're just going to put a three angle valve job on this. We've got our standard pilot. We're going to go in first with our 60 degree cutter. That's going to be our first cut way down deep there. I'm just going to do this by hand. These are the new way cutters. You've seen me use them before. Yeah, that pilot's hanging up on a pilot. Might not be in there enough. Let me get this out of here. Yeah, we're stuck on a pilot. i got to get one smaller pilot in there. Hang on, let me get set up. Okay guys, I had to put just a 3 8 minus 1 in there for a pilot. We're going to cut a 60 degree down low. Hopefully you can see that. That's our first cut. Now we're going to come in with a 46 degree cutter. You know I like to use 46 instead of 45. Again, I've explained that in some videos. Why I like the 46. 46 degree angle with a 45 degree valve gives you the best seal. And we're going to wipe that around there a few times. Okay, that's starting to look alright. Let's take that out and tie that up for you again so you can see what we got going on. Okay, so we got a 60 down low, we got a 45, uh, 46. Okay, now that's going to be a 31. Just going to tickle the top of that.
you might be able to pick up that line. Can you pick up that line in there? Yep. Okay, that's our 31 degree cut. 46 and 60. Now remember when we're cutting these, it's important to keep where the valve hits um, the right thickness on the valve. And we're going to lap a valve in there and I'll show you what I mean. Um, but you see that didn't take too long to put three angles in there. Let's find exhaust one. Okay, there's exhaust one. See that guy jumping? You know we're cut real good when they jump like that. Okay, again, you see that in a bunch of my other videos. We're going to take a little bit of lapping compound. This is just valve grinding compound. I'm going to put a little bit on here. Send that guy down in there. Okay, we're just going to lap that in. Oh, i got to get a towel. Hang in there. I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, guys. I got that wiped off. Now, I hope you can see this. Can you see that ring around a valve? Yep. Okay, that ring around a valve right now is about 72 thousandths wide. Okay. You don't want it way down the bottom. You don't want it at the very top. You want it down exactly where it is. Now, I like them a little bit thicker um, than 72. So I'm going to go back in here with the 45 and make that 45 a little bit bigger. And then we'll relap it, and you'll see that that'll get a little bit wider. We want, it to, we want it to hit a little bit wider so that when it's closed like that, it gives up more heat. So it's only closed for a split second, but it's given up a lot of heat during that time. So I'm going to go back in with the 46, cut it, and relap it. Okay, guys. Hoping you can see this okay. You see my line now around here. That is now 90 thousandths of an inch wide. That's exactly where I want to be. And... See it jumping you know that's that's it's gonna be sealing nice when they jump like that I'm gonna take the vacuum now I'm gonna put it on there and see where we're at I think we should be pretty close but let's take a peek You see that? No. Good. Okay, hang on. Let me just adjust. Okay. Okay, guys. I'm going to just pop the valve. Okay, I'm going to hook back up again. 21 inches. That's a perfect sealing valve. We'll pop it up one more time. So, we went from having no inches of vacuum on the valve job that came on this engine. And you know what that would have been like. It would have been this wouldn't have got up hills real good. It wouldn't went down the road real good. And I'm just going to check a couple of these and see where the line on the valve is. This is the perfect place for your valve to be hitting, just as I have it here. And again, you see that guy jumping. Now, let's take a... Uh, we're just going to take... The intake number three here. 
And let's just see where that's hitting. Let's just take some valve grinding compound. And just wipe a little in there. Let's just lap that in quick and see where it's at. It's important to have the three angle valve job, but it's very important to have the valve contact area in the right place and the right width. Okay, see what we got here? On this one, we're way too low. We're way down here. That's not what you want. The width isn't terrible, but we're way down low. You want that further up here. Um, you know, um, if they were lapped in better, if they were cut better, it might have sealed and been an okay engine. But um, while we're at it, we want to try and make it a perfect engine for Gary. So every one of these is going to get a three-angle valve job. Every one of them is going to get vacuumed down. We know they're going to work good. And uh, we'll put this ceiling ring in the right place on every one of these valves. And every one will be sealing perfectly. And this engine will be good for another 75 years. So I'm not going to show all that on this video. I just want to show you what you don't want from a machine shop. You don't want just a quick wipe around there. Um, you want a three angle valve job. You want everything vacuumed so you can actually see your valve sealing. Uh, if you're not going to get that from a shop, uh, you might want to go somewhere else. Um, this engine was advertised as a perfectly rebuilt engine, which it is not. So these are the steps that you want to take to get a perfect engine. Um, so I'm going to spend some time getting these right and uh, I'll show you the vacuum results when I'm done okay guys just want to give you an update as well on Hal's engine you can see I have his new old stock camshaft in there and I was waiting for quite a while on some tappets because I did not like his uh, the tappets are new old stock uh, I've got a melling uh, timing gear on there. I'll have a melling crank gear on there as well. Uh, we are finally, um, I, I think I have everything I need right now. The the, the tappets really held me up. Uh, but they're in there, and um, you see that uh, his oil pickup screen is being soaked. I have the oil pump, and I have, uh, I believe, everything I need to put this together now. Um, I'm still waiting on an intake and exhaust manifold. Uh, the Hal's originals were not rebuildable, but uh, more on that later as after I get the head on and stuff like that. But um, very close on this now to uh, finishing up the assembly, and um, I'll be back with more uh, continuing engine videos. Um, but for today, we're going to end this one here. And uh, as always, appreciate you guys watching, and uh, I'll catch you on the next video.